June twenty second was a statement. It was to prove that I am here to stay. It was to prove that I should not be taken lightly. It was to prove that I'm the best. I am the best. It is my destiny. I know it for a fucking fact. It is my destiny to win this Grand Prix. It is, it is destined that Sean and I to meet again. We are just destined to do this one more time. And that one more time, I will not take him lightly again. You can say whatever you want about it. You can say it wasn't Rob. You can say Sean won fair and square. But I, I know the truth. I know what happened that day. Tyler, you will not walk away from this. Your fate is the same as Cameron's. I will not take you easily. I will not go easy on you. I'm gonna put all of my effort, all, I'm gonna put everything I have into this fight. Because I can't risk I can't risk not being in the finals. I can't not risk not facing Sean one more time. I can't not risk that title shot. I hope you understand, Tyler. You're just a number on my list. You're just a stepping stone to get to the real threat, to get to the real competition. And that is Sean. Ziggler and Tyler facing off against each other to see who faces Sean in the championship round. So, guys, are you guys ready? What are we arguing about? <laughs> My God. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tyler's a bit unprepared, but basically, what we discussed last night was Tyler debating for Christian Bale's Batman and Bruce Wayne being the better one. And Ziggler debating for Ben Affleck's Batman and Bruce Wayne being the better one. And the judges tonight are going to be Cam, Sean, and in case of a tie, it's going to be me. All right, guys. So heads or tails? It should have been me. All right. Um, I don't care. You what do you want, Tyler? It. You call it. No, I said you call Just it. get over it. <laughs> uh, heads. Heads. All right. So, Tyler Tails, let's see. It's heads. So Ziggler gets to choose if he wants to go first or if I will def- Tyler I will, go first. Uh, I will defer to my opponent. Okay, so Tyler, what's your point first? Go ahead. All right, so um, Christian Bale, he's my favorite portrayal of Batman. I feel like all three of the movies he's in, he is in is uh, great, and he plays the character really great. Starting off with uh, Batman Begins with his training scenes with Ra's al Ghul. It shows Batman's origins, or Bruce's origins, very well. And we'll see him grow with both uh, the characters, Bruce and Batman, his relationships with Alfred, um, Lucius, and Rachel especially are great, in my opinion. He'll just do whatever to protect them, as shown um, with the interrogation scene with Joker where he uh, reveals the addresses for both Rachel and Harvey. And he immediately just goes for Rachel, which um, ends up being the addresses are flipped, which we all know. But he still saves Harvey just because um, he's willing to save everyone and doesn't really want to let too many good people die, or he doesn't want to let any good people die. 
Uh, speaking of that interrogation scene, the um, two actors, Christian Bale and Heath Ledger, are just make that scene amazing. Like Ledger's Joker, he pushes uh, Bruce's limits with the no killing rule, and Bale just shows uh, so much emotion with trying just not to break that one rule he has of no killing and we see him get close to killing joker but um obviously he gets the uh, addresses out and like i just said he saves harvey all of that because yeah he just wants to make sure he saves his lifelong friend in um in rachel dawes and make sure she is safe no matter what um Moving on from that, another great moment is the ending of The Dark Knight. He sacrifices his sort of hero status, and he takes the blame for uh, killing Harvey Dent, even after Harvey threatened to kill um, threatened to kill Gordon. He threatened to kill Gordon's son. He threatened to kill even Bruce himself. And even after all of that, Bruce was still willing to just sacrifice um, his Batman status i would guess you would call it just to uh protect the legacy of harvey dent since the public always thought of harvey as this hero and that causes uh bruce to or batman i guess to go into hiding for eight years and after that eight years bane takes him down uh since he's all worn out and all that and it, the scene um with bruce in the prison it shows him getting even stronger by Escaping that pit, the big well, with all those uh, huge jumps and all that. We, we see him fail a couple of times, and then eventually he uh, grows strong enough to get out and actually come back and defeat Bane. And the last uh, point from the movies, I want to say, is um, the sacrifice at the end of The Dark Knight Rises. He's just willing to save um, everyone in Gotham to... And he's willing to sacrifice his life to save everyone in Gotham, is what I'm trying to say. He carries the nuke away with the ship over the water, and then, um, yeah, he just saves everyone, showing that he is willing to make the sacrifice play. Not really an Avengers reference, but you get the point. And um, comparing the two actors, Bale and Affleck, um, I'll just say the design of Bale I like a little better. Um, just the costume design, I mean. The Ben Affleck suit, it kind of just feels like a little bigger and heavy, I guess you would say. I know that's what they're going for, but I feel like the uh, stealthy, lightweight suit that Bill had was, um, I like that one better a little bit. Also, the Batman voice, I know uh, a lot of us make fun of Bale's Batman, but that's easy to do. I just feel like I like Bale's a little better just because it's actual Christian Bale acting that voice instead of Ben Affleck just um he talks normally and then they use the voice changer or an editing process whatever they do to change that up and um my final point on why I think Bill's Batman had is um is better than Affleck's is just because Christian Bale had three full solo movies just dedicated around him and I feel like that just adds to his character and um just shows so much more about him compared to Ben Affleck, who just, he, he always had to share, like, the spotlight with, um, uh, Superman or the Justice League. He never had a full solo movie, which we'll never get to see how it would have been with Ben Affleck now since he, um, since Ben Affleck announced he's dropping out of that movie. So, um, yeah, that's all I, that's all I got. And it's your turn now. All right. Thank you for that, Tyler. Very compelling argument. And now, Ziggler, it's your turn to make your point for Ben Affleck. Now Bruce this, Wayne all right, Batman. but now, all right. So yeah, it's Bruce Wayne and Batman, not just Batman, right? Correct. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to respond to Tyler being like, Ben Affleck's Batman voice is so much better. I mean, it's still Ben Affleck's voice, but it's like monetized, though. Like where you like can't like figure out that he's bruce wayne i believe that's way better than than freaking christian bale be like where is he like it's it's so stupid but then um 
But yeah, that Ben Affleck's Batman is literally the perfect Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns esque Batman, and his portrayal of Batman and Bruce Wayne is the best I've ever seen on screen. When he was when he was fucked when he was uh, casted as the Batman, I remember everyone online was just fucking livid. Like everyone hated that casting choice, and I was one of the few. I'm pretty sure there are a lot more out there, but I was still one of the few who were like, just give him a chance, just lay off him, he could be good. And a couple years later, as it turns out, Ben Affleck as the Dark Knight was the best part of BVS. His portrayal of both Bruce Wayne and the Batman just blew everyone away. Like, we've never seen a Batman this badass and never seen a Bruce Wayne this interesting. Now let's talk about his Batman. He is the best on-screen Batman for a number of reasons. Like, you actually see him do some detective work. The world's greatest detective finally doing detective work in a movie. That's the first time you've ever seen, like, Batman live action on the screen doing detective work. Like, finding the white Portuguese and the kryptonite at LexCorp. And the fucking chase scene? Good fucking god. That chase scene is the best Batman chase scene probably ever. And this Batman is nothing to fuck with. He is like a no-bullshit, straight-up assassin. People actually fucking fear this man, as they should. This Batman was menacing and ominous, something that Bale's Batman wasn't. Bale cannot hang hang with Batfleck. And Batfleck had the best Batman fight scene I've ever seen. That warehouse scene in BVS... I mean, I mean, good God, now that's a fucking Batman, that's a fucking ninja, that's a fucking assassin. We, we, we have never seen Bale do anything close to that. And now his uh, Bruce Wayne, that first shot, not the, uh, not, no, that first shot with Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. Um, you see Bruce Wayne, not Batman, Bruce freaking Wayne running through Metropolis as the city is being destroyed by Zod and Superman. Bruce trying to help random people on the streets, trying to save his friend who is in Wayne Enterprises, and eventually the building collapsed. The whole thing was like 10 9 11s happening at once. And Bruce saving that little girl looking and looking up at Superman. I mean, that's a little that, intense to say. Uh, 10, 9, 11. Well, it's true. That's, that's, yeah, but that's a little, that's a tough subject to bring up. Like, that's, it's, dude, it's been 20 years. It's, 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 about, don't you right? think? it's, it's like, it's a bit much. It, well, it's true. It's like 10. Uh, is that, is, is that going to, is that going to count against me? Should I take get that off? No, 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 that's it, fine. That's it fine. It's like, I get it. He, I get what he's trying to fine, say. Fine, fine, fine. It makes sense because uh, Zod, Zod, Zod Okay, fine, fine, fine. Zod, Zod and, and Superman, Superman battle. were right. destroying everything in Metropolis. Happy? Yeah. They're destroying everything in Metropolis. It was a. It was bad. And I mean, all right. <laughs> I have to think back where I was. Where was I? Fucking Sean. Um, what was I saying before Sean interrupted me? Oh yeah, uh, Bat, uh, uh, Bruce, Bruce Wayne looking up at Superman. You can just see in his face, and that opening shot alone is the most interesting and the most badass Bruce Wayne has ever been. And that's all thanks to uh, Ben Affleck. And you actually see Ben's uh, Bruce Wayne's progression, hating these metahumans because you know he's dealt with evil ones in the past, not trusting Superman because. Think, thinking he thinking he is evil, even with Alfred saying he is not our enemy, and Bruce saying he has the power to wipe out the entire human race. And if we believe that he's, and fuck, and if we believe there's even one percent chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. Twenty years in Gotham, Alfred, we've seen what promises are worth. How many good guys are left? How many stay that way? That scene alone just gives me fucking goosebumps every time. His performance in that was so good. And you see the progression, the the character building of Bruce Wayne. And when Superman says, you need to save Martha, and Lois says it's his mother's name, you see it on his face. Doesn't even have to say a word. 
he spent the last 18 months obsessing over killing the alien who can destroy the Earth. It isn't until Superman uses the name Martha that the alien becomes humanized. Once he realizes it's Clark's mom's name, he starts to understand that maybe they aren't so different after all. He never considered that the evil alien had a human mother or let alone be willing to die for her. Bruce couldn't save his mother. So no matter how many goons Batman brands, he was a helpless kid when she was killed, just like Clark is now. He'll never be able to bring his Martha back. Now he has an opportunity for redemption. It has nothing to do with their moms having the same name. That was just a spark that you can see snapping Bruce out of his kill mode. They showed that, super, they showed that Superman wasn't pure evil. With potentially his last breath, he asked his killer to save someone else. It's in the narrative. That's the reason why we're showed the Waynes getting murdered one more time. It's one of the most emotionally stirring and theme-appropriate scenes. It's great storytelling. It's great character development. And it's the best that Bruce Wayne has ever been done. Wow, that was awesome. All right, Tyler. Now, here's your rebuttal. Now, this can truly make or break your argument. So, give us your best shot. All right. Um, I just have a couple of points. First of all, I just feel like uh, the reason people fear this, the Ben Affleck Batman, is because uh, this Batman breaks the number one rule of not killing. And um, if I remember correctly, I believe this Batman was... Uh, using weapons on these enemies, like um, guns on these enemies, and using even the Batmobile to take down some of the enemies. So I feel like that's just the like golden Batman rule to not kill. And uh, Ben Affleck just breaks that rule completely. And um, about the whole fight with Superman thing, I feel like um, instead of just going straight after Superman, like taking him as a threat, I feel like he should have just maybe try to understand. Like I know it would be hard to contact Superman, but maybe try to talk to him and uh, understand his side of the story. Just instead of just trying to go in, um, trying to fight him right off the start of the bat, trying to save the day. I feel like if he understood uh, Clark's side of the story, it would have gone down a lot easier. And for the Martha scene. I kind of just still see it as um, the just I don't know why Bruce would have stopped what he was doing with um, the whole Martha thing. I feel like if he really actually thought he was a threat, he would have finished it right then and there and uh, would have ended Superman at that moment. And yeah, that's all I really got for my rebuttal. Sounds good. And. Uh, Ziggler, you get to speak the last rebuttal point. He so did. Ahead. He did think he was a threat. But then but then when he asked Bruce to save Martha, he realized, wow, this guy, I'm about to kill this guy, and all he cares about is someone saving Martha. Maybe he's not bad after all. He's, like, humanized now. Like, this alien that I've been obsessing with killing for almost two years – it's like that's like that's like Batman trying to solve the piece. He's trying to solve the puzzle, putting all the pieces together. That's why he's the world's greatest detective. And what you said about Batman killing people, that's a character trait. The Joker and uh, Harley Quinn killed Robin, and that's when Batman just snapped. He just didn't care anymore. His son, Dick Grayson, died. That's character development right there. I mean, wouldn't you just snap if if a freaking mad clown and oh some woman killed your fucking son? I mean, of course he's going to start killing. Of course he's going to go Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns on their asses. Now, Christian Bale's portrayal is probably the third best. Not going to lie, he's all right, but he's no Ben Affleck. His Batman just felt so stiff. His fight scenes weren't as good as they could have been. 
he just didn't feel like a ninja or an assassin. I mean, he's got his fucking ass kicked by Bane, broke his back. Bane just took Bale's shots and didn't have any effect on him. Just a regular, normal-sized human being. And Christopher Nolan didn't have any super people in his trilogy, so he's just a normal man. And he fucking whooped Bale's ass. The Batman just didn't feel... Like, th- this Batman just didn't feel like a threat, like Ben Affleck's. I mean, motherfucker went toe-to-toe with Superman and won. Bale couldn't even beat a smaller man in Bane. And that fucking voice, like like I said earlier, where is she? Like that. That was just awful. It just takes me out of the movie, and every, to- every time it's just so ridiculous and funny. Now, his Bruce Wayne was just boring and uninteresting. All his board meeting scenes, his scenes with Alfred and Rachel were boring. I didn't buy his love for Rachel. I don't buy that he's a billionaire playboy like Affleck. Affleck literally looks like the parts. He literally looks like Bruce Wayne in the comics. Christian Bale was just too small for the role. Affleck was the perfect build and height. Christian Bale was far from the perfect Batman and Bruce Wayne. His character is boring, has little to no character build. His Batman just doesn't feel like Batman to me. Christian Bale does not compare to Ben Affleck. Everyone will remember how Ben Affleck's Batman always stole the show, why Christian Bale's Batman was always overshadowed by his co-stars, Liam Neeson, Heath Ledger, and Tom Hardy. Christian Bale never stole the show in his own movie with his performance. No one ever even recalls his performance. They just remember the great performance by his co-stars, because that's all that's worth remembering. I'm done. Wow, a very heated argument here. Now let's see what the judges think. All right, Cam, who do you think won the battle? Uh, I say Ziggler just for the passion and energy that he put into his argument. Yeah, makes sense to me. All right, thank you for that. And Sean, who's your winner? Well, I do like agree with Tyler on a lot of things. So also, Christian Bale is one of my favorite. Uh, it probably is my favorite Batman, but um. Ziggler did kind of bring more to the table, and Tyler kind of just like set the napkins while Ziggler made the whole meal. So like Ziggler, <laughs> I like that. Are you hungry analogy. again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's two zip, and that means Ziggler is the winner of this debate. Sean, the rematch of the century. Let's do this, motherfucker. <laughs> Not now. What the fuck? Oh, no, right well, now. I mean, not now. Of course not now. Well, yeah, eventually right now. we'll get. We don't, even, we don't even have a topic planned. <laughs> so here is the updated bracket, and with that, we'll hopefully get the championship match sometime in the near future. All right, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you later. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you liked it, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And click the channel for more videos. And see our recent uploads and our interviews with guys like at Jordan Jomo from Instagram and the wrestling classic. Again, thank you for your support and we'll keep on delivering outstanding content for you all.